sent the Big Ten and Commissioner Kevin Warren a letter demanding information around the fall postponement and a quote, structured discussion. What does that mean? The parents still want to play in the fall. There's no reason that we can't play in October, November of this year. There's no reason for that. But to start anything, you just need communication. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out uh, to support the Bug Guys and support the movement of trying to play this season. That fight started before uh, the cancellation of the season. That fight started when COVID first started and they had to send the kids home. They had certain things they had to do, certain regimens they had to do. They had to stay away from certain people just to play football. I see the sacrifices that the coaches have made. I see the sacrifices, right, that these kids continue to make. We want to fully understand how they came to this conclusion. We're taking it day by day. Remember, I, I'm not doing this for Sean. Sean, I mean, he's pretty set. You know, so his decision should be coming out soon. We just got to get most the most information we can for him to make his best decision for him. Conversations were hard with the protests, with um, me debating if I'm opt out or opt in. It doesn't sound like senior Sean Wade will be on the field. In his Twitter post, Wade said being a student athlete at The Ohio State University has been the greatest experience of his life. He continued to say because of the uncertainty, he knew in his heart that the best decision for his future is to begin preparing for the next chapter. I uh, talked to my parents, it was like they, they really wanted me to come home because they didn't just want to risk no injuries or anything. And my mom was kind of saying, be patient, be patient, be patient. So it was just a lot. This had been a extremely difficult decision to make, but I know it's the right decision for me. What made you come to that decision this morning? I had a cricket at my door, green cricket, and uh, I woke up one morning, it was at the door. I came back from workout, so it was at my door. Same old, same old, so it, it, it's just a sign for God for real. Me and Sean actually go way back since, you know, I can remember Sandbox days. Sean has always been a person that kept his emotions and opinions and worries to himself. He's not never really been much of a talker. I talked to him this morning before I even put it on the internet. I, I, it was hard for me to send that text. I'm um, going to declare for NFL draft. It was, it was hard. It was hard calling Coach Collins and Coach um, Dave this morning. And as the time ticks for the Big Ten to make a decision, fans wonder who may be next to opt out. <laughs> well, my initial thought process was you know, what, what do we do now? In the end, Wyatt Davis grew tired of the Big Ten's stance on fall football, but he's not jumping for joy as he exits. He was conflicted about Friday's decision to opt out and prepare for the NFL draft. And there, there was so much letdowns that um, not only was it deeply affecting me, but it was deeply affecting everyone in Ohio State. Me personally, I, I didn't want to opt out early in the season just because I felt like there was hope. They postponed the season. They didn't cancel the season. They postponed it. And we're trying to get back on the field as soon as possible. We're all just kind of sitting here like, you know, what's what's the next move? And if there not being a lot of talk, I mean, you're kind of just stuck in this purgatory of the unknown. Yeah, it was it was hard to, to watch him have to go through that process because I know it's not what he wanted to do. You know, his heart was really, really in it and really wanted to play another season for us. And, and watching him have to decide on his future like that was really hard. You know, I know it took a, a big toll on him. It was very tough taking it day by day just because there were so many moments, so many weeks where there was nothing. Breaking news. Go ahead, Heather. The floor is yours. What is the news this morning? Sources have confirmed that the Big Ten is expected to announce this morning that football is back. Big Ten football! is officially back on to this yeah! Yeah! Big Ten College Football Conference has reversed the decision to postpone the season. What are you feeling right now, Coach? Uh, excitement. Excitement again. You know, it's great to hear good news. Well, I'm extremely excited. You know, I'm thankful everything worked out in our way and I could come back and play. But truly for me, being able to get back out there with the guys, and, and it, it just feels good. I mean, you can feel it. What's up, Buckeye Nation? I'm back. You opted out on Monday before the Big Ten announcement. Things have changed with over 24 hours to think about it. You want to make this announcement on SportsCenter right here. What do you plan to do this fall, Sean? Really, I'm going to come back and be a Buckeye and really go strive for this national championship. I can already hear them cheering in Columbus. It is a special year. It is a special year this year. I believe in every single one of y'all. I believe in my coach. 
I believe in Coach Day. So yeah, I talked to my dad and he was saying that how much we as a unit, as an Ohio State, has put into just getting this season, adjusting with the position, my dad, going everywhere, other parents, just the protest. It's just a lot of big things that help with everything. Yeah. Yep. So we need to lock in. Yeah. Have a good day. Sean, you got him, bro. Let's go. Yeah, touch the detail, man. Touch the detail. That's the word of the day. Touch the detail. Hey, fight on three. One, two, three. Fight. We're going to get